My name is Amy Kelsey, A-M-Y-K-E-L-S-E-Y. -E I teach at East Buchanan Middle School in Easton, Missouri. What I like most about teaching is being there for kids. I love working with kids. I love working with middle school kids. I love teaching math. And for some of those kids, I'm their only cheerleader that they have. Teaching has changed because of parent involvement and lack of, lack of parent involvement. So for my kids, it's, I feel like I have to be there for them. I oppose Amendment 3 because I feel like we will be making test takers and not children that can be productive members of society. We are not going to let them be ready for the real world. I am one of those tested areas. So the impact of standardized tests is huge. I feel like I carry that burden for the whole, I'm the only sixth grade math teacher. So I feel like I carry that burden by myself, even though other teachers in my building also help out. But it's very hard to explain to a parent or to members of your community, it is one test one day of the year. My students are more than just, just test scores because they are my kids. You know, I have kids that I've seen, th they're friends of, their parents are friends of ours, I've seen them grow up. They, I have kids that just come in five weeks before the test. I st still want them to be productive members of society. I don't want them just to be good at saying A, B, C, or D. All students are not the same. Um, each student has, is an indiv individualized person. They have their own personality. Some of my kids, the best eight hours of their whole day is coming to school. They don't have to think about some of the things that are going on at home. They don't have to decide, am I supposed to be going to my mom's, to my dad's? Who's going, what am I gonna have for supper tonight? Am I even gonna have supper? It's just very important. This amendment will not work for my kids because we're a rural school. I don't think it, it's not gonna matter if you're an urban school, a rural school, a suburban school. Every kid is different. Every kid has different needs. And it's very important that we meet with those needs. And we, our society, I would think, would not want everyone to be the same. It is important for the teachers, the parents, the administrators. We are one community at a school. And for that community to work, we all have to work together. A child, maybe my child didn't have breakfast that morning, or maybe my child had had some traumatic event the night before, and maybe my child didn't get any sleep because of things going on at home that are out of our control. So I don't feel like, as a teacher, my evaluation be, should be based one how my child does one day a year. I would tell my neighbor to vote no on Amendment 3 because it's not good for schools, it's not good for kids. Um, I live in a rural community. My school district will not be able to take the hit it's going to take if this a bill passes. What do you mean by that? The, the amount, the costly hit. My school district will not be able to come up with the money it's going to take to fund all these tests and then to maintain them. And school districts are the heart of every community. So if your school district cannot do this, and they, they, will, they will close, and then your town is going to dry up because you're going to be taking kids. For us, we would probably have to be taking kids 20 to 30 miles away. And that's not good for schools, that's not good for kids. That's not good for our community.